Hey, I'm Eric. I'm Todd. And this is California Curated. Today we are down in San Diego, La Jolla, to be specific, at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. University of California, San Diego. They make, it, they make us say that. It's important. It's part are, of the school. There are a lot of UCs. Well, today we're going to talk to a couple of scientists who have developed this pretty astounding new system. It's an underwater microscope that they've developed and they're putting to really good use to look closer at the interaction between algae and their host coral than ever before. Because coral and algae have a symbiotic relationship. And if the algae leaves the coral, which seems to be happening in coral reefs around the world, the coral eventually dies. And a dead coral reef is bad for everybody, not just the coral and the algae. This microscope is one of a kind. There's only one of them on the planet, and we're about to go check it out. All right, let's go. Scripps Institution of Oceanography is one of those premier centers for the study of the oceans. We met there with oceanographer Jules Jaffe in the Jaffe Lab, which is all about imaging in the ocean. Jaffe's current project focuses on corals. Corals are the most diverse ecosystems pretty much on the planet, certainly in the ocean. It's a new kind of microscope called the bump that allows them to study corals in the wild. The unique thing about the new microscope that we built, which we've nicknamed the bump, allows us to start to look at physiology. Understanding physiology is key to learning how corals and their symbiotic algae interact. Yeah, because around the world, coral reefs are in decline, and researchers don't fully understand why. And that's what they're trying to do with the bump. Postdoc researcher Dr. Orr Benzvi showed us the system in action. It was pretty cool. I used some diving weights and weird stuff to keep it submerged. So this coral is called Stylophora. It's a very common coral, and I'm basically trying to find the correct distance from the coral. So it's very close to the coral, but it doesn't touch the coral, and this is what we were aiming at, a non-invasive tool. What's key here is the type of light that's being used. Okay, so the microscope has two illumination types. It has a white light to take just regular images, color images, and we have a blue light that excites fluorescence, which is basically how we measure the photosynthetic efficiency of the algae within the coral. Scientists know that the algae consume blue light and that they convert it into sugars. Exactly, that's photosynthesis, and the corals eat those sugars, which is the basis of their symbiotic relationship. So what the bump does is measures the amount of light that reflects back from the algae, which tells them how much the coral is eating. It's a built-in candy factory for them. And that's an indication of the algae's efficiency. And if the efficiency is low, it means the corals are not getting enough nutrition from the algae. This is an individual polyp. Its mouth will be in the middle, and it has the tentacles, and the little darker dots that you see are the individual algae. The bump was specifically designed for use in the ocean and not the lab. Taking an organism from their natural habitat changes the way it reacts. It changes the conditions it, it is exposed to. We're not getting the true natural picture of what is happening. We know a bit about coral bleaching, but we don't precisely know the reason that the algae leave their coral homes. Is it their idea or do the corals somehow show them the door? Yeah, are the corals like, hey, get the hell out? <laughs> or are the algae like, it's too hot in here, see ya? Well, there is a small chance that the bump, this new microscope can help and find some kind of answer as to why corals bleach. But it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. Could a world exist without corals? Yeah, I think so. It would be sad. It's going that way. Um, so we're trying to figure out what's going on, so maybe we can at least learn what is going on, and that I don't know if we can fix it or not, but the knowledge of science should help us propel ourselves into both understanding and also maybe remediation. Amidst all the data that the bump is gathering to answer these questions, they're also collecting some amazingly beautiful images of coral. Right, and that, that means something, right? Like we've never seen corals in quite this way before. And that's why there is some small bit of hope. And I think Jules would agree. And I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to, to help people 
feel empathy towards creatures that are in the sea at the same time that we learn about how beautiful they are. And the combination of beauty and science to me is part of what my life has been all about.